In this chapter, we will explore spline modeling in 3ds Max. We'll be using a type of spline curve known as a Bezier spline. If you've used Illustrator or Photoshop or many other programs, then you're probably familiar with Bezier spline because that's the default type of curve in most 3D programs. 3ds Max also offers NURBS curves, which we will explore in the next chapter. In this chapter, we'll use Bezier splines to construct the profile of this handbell and then apply a modifier called lathe, and the lathe will revolve the spline, creating what's known as a surface of revolution. I've already got an image plane in here that we can use as a template. I'll click in the front view, and then press Alt-W to maximize that, and maybe get a little bit closer. I'm just going to create the bell part first. To create a spline, go into the Create panel, and then choose the Shapes sub-panel. And you'll see a bunch of primitives here, like circle and rectangle. There's also freeform line. If you click on line, you enter the tool. By the way, the line object is also known as editable spline in 3ds Max, and you'll see those two terms used interchangeably. Down here under creation method, notice we have initial type of corner and drag type of bezier. That means if I just click, I will create a corner point and two corner points in a row will make a straight line segment. If I click and drag, I'll create a bezier point, which will have curves. Okay, so if I go down here and click once, I'm creating a corner point. Click again, and click a few more times, you'll see I'm creating straight line segments. If I go up here and then click and hold the mouse down, I'm creating a bezier point. You can see we're getting some curvature there. Okay, so I can go up here, maybe click and hold, give a little bit of curvature there. Go up to the top and just click to make a corner point. And after I've created the last point I want to build, then I can right click to finish that particular line, but the tool is still active. I can right click again to exit the tool. So we've got a very rough curve here. Doesn't really look like our bell outline. We can take a look at that without the image plane by pressing F3. But we can edit that, of course, and we can make it beautiful. 